Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. Today we are building one of the new Lego Elves sets for 2016. This is the Starlight Inn and it's got Azari Fire Dance in it, but it has also got one of the new characters for 2016, Sira, who is the Sky Captain and a little teeny tiny baby dragon, because this year it is all about dragons. There are three bags and one nice big book, so let's start building. We'll have a look at our mini dolls first. First up, we've got Azari, who is in her new outfit for 2016. We've already seen her in a couple of the other sets already so far this season, and she looks very spiffy. There she is, there's her hair. There's nothing new to report about here. She's got her fire element piece on her hand there and her beautiful ombre hair. So we'll put her in the corner. And look at this. This is one half of the faceted eggshell that the baby dragon comes in. And here is Spark. And Spark is so cute. Look, look at those translucent wings and the little ridge down his back and little golden teeny tiny horns. There we are. Here's the top. So he's like a surprise egg dragon. There he is. He is hidden in there, ready to hatch. And the facets just make that gorgeous, make it so magical. And it really is beautiful. It's like an enormous jewel. Now we have got Syrah. This is Syrah Copperbranch. She is the sky captain. She's an earth elf, but she loves everything about the sky. And look at her, she's got awesome knee high boots and no tattoos on this one, no markings on her skin, but she does have some fabulous hair. Check this out. It's lovely light, light lime green with a lavender stripe down the front. And she gets her earth element though she rarely does earth magic. She is not too fond of dragons either, so we won't put it too close to Spark the Dragon. <laughs> but they're all the figures that come in the set, so let's move them over and start building the first piece of this set. Now this is a cute feature to start with. It is a little table for the Starlight Inn for them all to sit around and eat their biscuits and drink their tea and coffee or hot chocolate or magical elf drink, I don't know what it is. What are they going to be eating there? Well, actually, we will see later on in the build. Uh, there we are. There's our pretty table. And in the middle of it is a map. This is the new map for this season with all the information about where to find the dragons and their eggs. And I've put that map on just in the wrong direction. I don't know if it'll make a difference in the long run, but I'll turn it around and do it exactly as the instructions say. Here are some star biscuits. And up here is a little quill to go with the, to go with the map. So I must be able to make some markings on it to map out where they need to go. So that's the table, that's cool. Now, if they have a table, obviously they're going to need some chairs. So we need some very elven chairs here. Like twisty, turny branches, these ones. You check out the back on them. So there's a little hook, and look at that. That's really cool. There's a bit of a problem with them sitting down because their hair gets in the way, but they do sit on there all right. And if they don't, just put some sticky tack on it <laughs> and you can stick them to the chair and they won't fall off. So there's one there for Sarah. So we might, might need one now for the guest, for Azari. Here's her star cushion. It's all about stars here at the Starlight Inn. That's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> there we are. They're both sitting very comfortably at the table having their star biscuits while we build the next piece. here is the little underground cellar or the basement that's attached to the Starlight Inn and this is a wonderful resting place for the little fire dragon egg and for the little fire dragon spark when he finally hatches. So we've got a cushion in here, make it nice and cozy for spark once he comes in and this is an interesting little contraption. It's um, It doesn't do a heap but with Azari's fire magic we're going to be able to work it in a moment. So let's build some crystals in because it is all about beautiful crystals and foliage and gems in the Starlight Inn and in the Elves themes all together really. So here we have Azari. Let's keep going up. There we go. So there's a little candle on the side here that Azari can light with her magic. Or she could just get a match and light it. Not certain why she would need to go to all the trouble of using her magic, but she can, I suppose, because that's what it's for. Here we've got a couple of little hinges, as Azari has just beautifully demonstrated for us. And that's so that the cellar door, here it is here, can be pushed back 
so it actually looks like a cellar door on an angle. How cool is that? And the, uh, yep, nah. <laughs> oh, we can poke Azari through it and she can try out the little soft cushion. <laughs> right, that's just silly. Uh, we need some little steps up into the cellar, just the right size for a baby dragon. And of course, we need some pink foliage and some more crystals, some more gems. <laughs> because they apparently grow on trees here in Elvendale, isn't that handy? <laughs> A very nice little blue crystal for the bottom and some cherries look like they're growing on this tree as well and we'll just set up our candle to up so that it's lit and then we can install the fire egg over here and we can take spark out and try out that little cushion there see see there's spark now sitting in the cellar nice and safely <laughs> and Azara you really don't fit actually you almost fit in that egg it could be a surprise egg with a Zari fire dance in it. Now we are up to bag number two. So we are starting on the main building in the build here. This is going to be the Starlight Inn and it's got lots of really good features. So we'll start building the bottom structure up first and then we will see what is in it and what sort of fun play we can have with it. Oh, look, look, it's a turny piece. Let's, <laughs> let's get Sarah to go for a spin. I don't think it's actually for the mini dolls to go for a spin on. It's going to have a very clever feature on it soon. So keep your eyes out on that turny piece. Here we've got a very nice little window. There, this inn is going to be so cozy and warm by the time we're finished. Just the perfect place to finish your travels in the mountain or to have a little rest in the mountains anyway before the poor elves continue on in their task to find all those dragons. Now this is our sign which lets us know how much the delicious things cost. So a dollar for a cupcake, two dollars for a star biscuit. It doesn't tell you how much for a delicious drink but there are some drinks here too. Now it's very cold here, so we obviously are going to need a wonderful roaring fireplace for when all the travelers arrive. So that's what we've got here. And this has got a nifty little feature. We can turn the handle here, if I can get the flame to stay on, we can turn the handle so that the bonfire, well the fireplace, not really bonfire, the fireplace can either angle out or it can angle up, depending upon whether we're cooking outside or whether we're warming the inside of the inn, which you'll see when we install it. So let's put the fireplace in and you know what, I think that's the wrong way around. No, no, that's the wrong way around. So we'll turn it around. That's better. So we need the fire guard on the inside and on the outside <laughs> where Spark can sit there and warm up by the fire. Because he is a fire dragon. I think he'll be quite safe there, that close to the fire. And there's a hinge here. So we are about to get a door. I can tell. There's the door frame. Sarah is standing in the archway of her own little starlight inn. And we need, this is, there's just one big decorative brick here over the top of the window. You put the sticker on straight because you know how much I like the stickers to be straight. There, that looks really good. I love the little ornate swirls or the little curlicues. They really look so mystical and magical and they just make it, they make it look fantastic. So here's her door, a lovely lavender door, which matches, matches her hair, doesn't it? Matches the stripe in her hair. There. And we get a couple of little embellishments just outside to round off, round off the posts around the door. And that looks really good. Now we definitely need some flowers. I wonder what flowers grow high up here in the mountains in Elvendale. And of course we're going to need some more crystals because they make it look so pretty. There we are. And one more little blue piece there. Oh, don't fall out, Sarah. There. Now the front is looking very inviting indeed. And Spark has already warmed enough of his nose, so he's turned around, so he's warming his tail. And here we have our cooking implements. So there's a pan and a very cute little pink teapot for all the visitors to come and cook or have a nice cup of tea. We need a couple of spare logs for the fire, right next to the fireplace, that's perfect. What a great little detail. And a very cozy mat right in front of the fireplace. You can stand here and warm your hands after the big trip up through the mountains. 
and a little table just by the door with a bottle. A green bottle. I wonder what's in that. What do you think is in that green bottle? Is it something magical or something delicious? <laughs> You'll have to decide. All right, we have started heading up now. This is our fancy turny piece. You wait and see what it turns into. It's another one of those clever design features that Lego sneaks into all of their builds to make them all fun and awesome and great. <laughs> Pretty sure you probably know I love Lego by now. All right, here are the steps up and look, there's a hidden key. Ooh, there. So when we turn the steps around up to the second level, the ladder steps, there is a hidden key. So there's the key to the front door by the door and there's another hidden one. Let's keep going up. We're going to need something to actually turn this hidden staircase here. Actually, sorry, the staircase is not hidden. It's the key that's hidden. So there is this wonderful crystal telescope at the top. That must be for Sarah to look at the stars because she loves all things about the sky. And there, that works really, really well when we're not bumping into a Zari. That looks great. All right, we're, we're up to bag number three. We are gonna have a teeny tiny break and then we are going to keep building. Okie dokie, bag number three. This is where we start into the guest room and the second level of the Starlight Inn. And there are some very cool features up here. But first, of course, we do need some foliage with some more gems on them. we are there is because she's an earth elf there is our earth element over the top of the door for the starlight inn and now we need to build the actual room so check this out it's a really really interesting design and it fits in so perfectly with the elves theme We have the bed top and you can see there's a space underneath that's an important feature we need some stickers here so that we can tell that these are blankets and aren't they pretty more of those lovely curlicues they're in gold and look how one side of the sheet is turned down one side of the blankets turned down ready for the guests that looks so cozy now under the bed is a great feature check this out look look one side two sides it's a drawer so the visitors, the guests, can come and stash their suitcase. See, here's a Zari suitcase, and there's the compass. She needs that compass so she knows where she's going, doesn't get lost, and she can stash that under the bed. That is a very, very clever design. I like that. But it does get more interesting. So let's install the bed, and we'll move Azari out of the way because this is a cozy little bed nook with another great feature. So see this arch here? Let's go and build something to fill that arch. So if this is the guest bedroom, of course we need some windows. Look at these windows. <laughs> Look at the printing on them. They are just so lovely with the little branches around the side. They're so ornate, but the guests do need a window to look out at the fabulous feature of the mountains. I've done that wrong, hold on. That's it. So the green hinge is on the top. That's better. There we go. So if we install this up here next to the bed, it curves around just gently and just softens the whole thing. And now the guests have got somewhere to look at. It really looks brilliant. Okay, a sign. The Starlight Inn sign with a sleepy dragon, a sleepy baby dragon. There, this is where the baby dragons come to sleep. Is that right? <laughs> That's what the sign tells me. Okay, another curved piece on the top and another little window because there's a tiny, teeny little attic room up the top. But even though it's tiny, teeny, it's full of detail. So let's put all those details in. You stand up, Azari, so we don't keep knocking you off. And up here, we have got a constellation map. And that looks like it is the dragon constellation. They've got some interesting constellations there in Elvendale. And a little candle so that Siri can sit up here and she can look at the stars all night long. And of course, because this is a Lego Elves set, 
we need the little peaked hinged pieces that really complement the sets and they finish them off just to perfection they're just beautiful so there we go we have two of them and of course a big piece of pink foliage to finish it off with the distinctive big ball of flowers that you see as a feature in all of the Lego Elves sets. There we go. And of course we need some gems on there. Ta-da! There we are, our hinged peak and the pink foliage. And Sarah, she can sit up here and look at the stars. So there, the whole build of the Starlight Inn. It is just as magical and beautiful as I had hoped. It fits in so well with the Lego Elves theme. And of course it does have the baby dragon in it. Ah, look, Azari has just arrived at the Starlight Inn. The compass has led the way and here she is. She's hoping Sarah will help her. But before that, because she's had such a cold trek through the mountains, they're going to need a nice hot cup of tea. And it has been sitting here over the fireplace there we go nice and warm and while they have their cup of tea they can have some starlight biscuits and have a good look at the map hmm but before azari can head off anywhere at all she needs to go up and she needs to uh, have a look through the telescope <laughs> what is she looking for do you think she will find the dragons with that telescope she might it's a very fancy telescope but she is going to need a good night's rest before she sets off again on her journey. So after her good night's rest, ah, Sarah is showing her something, the hidden key. You know, I have no idea what the key, the key is actually for. Is it for the cellar door so we can open up the cellar doors? I don't know, but the dragon egg just hatched. Oh look, Azari gets, oops, Azari gets to meet the fire dragon for the first time. And uh, yes, there was so much excitement there that Azari fell over, but because they are both from the fire element, they are going to be the best of friends, see? Oh, so much cuddling. And now they're both trying to fit in that egg. <laughs> I don't think you're both going to fit. It's a bit cosy. Ah, <laughs> uh, dear. So what are they up to here? Oh, oh Sparks, you can't fly. <laughs> Sparks just flew off with Azari. That's crazy. Sparks too little to fly. And now I think that they're playing hide and seek. Can you see Sparks? Can you see Azari? They're not hidden really well, are they? <laughs> Shh, don't tell Sarah. Thank you so much for watching LEV Toys. Don't forget to click subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Check out some of our other videos. And I'm going to see you with a new one really, really soon.